Okay, guys, I am going to do my first experiment with the new Cricut foil. This is in my Silhouette Cameo 2. As you can see here, I have a piece of black cardstock. This is the Cricut foil taped down with their tape. And I do not, I'm using the foil quill. This is the medium adapter, uh, not the fine and not the bold. And I have my silhouette adapter um, on there. And this is using it without heat. So it is not plugged in to any USB source. We're just going to let it run. And over here on my computer, I just have this Happy Holidays silhouette design. And I really don't care if it's centered up or anything. We just want to see how it's going to work. Changing this to, ooh, I wonder if it'll work on scoring. Hmm. All right, we'll see how this works. I'm actually going to make it do two passes. And send. Okay, so while it's doing that, I'll show you guys some of the experiments I've already done. Um, just so you know, this is a round $8 package. This is how it comes. These are the 4 by 6 sheets. You get 24 sheets, so you get 8 of each color, and it's um, green, purple, and blue. You also get these sheets of tape. So you can see these are tape, and they're like a plastic tape. I actually do like the tape. It's pretty strong, and it does not rip the foil or rip the paper it's almost like labels like uh, address label tape okay so um, here you can see the package I've opened here's the green there's the purple and there is the tape and there's the blue okay it is kind of thin and I've done a couple experiments already so let me show you what I did so on here I took a toner printed image so normally we do mink machine or toner printing and this was a toner printed image. I printed from my laser printer and ran it through the mink machine as I normally would. And you can see there's a lot of overfoiling there. So you don't want to use this in your mink machine for any kind of toner foiling or your laminator at all. So that was a fail. Okay. And then I used my hot foil machine. And my hot foil machine is a Gemini foil press. This is a hot foil die that I used. Here you can see the piece of foil. I ran it through the Gemini foil press and the Gemini Junior with a hot foil. It was set to low for 15 seconds. And you can see as a hot foil replacement, it actually worked and foiled beautifully. But my argument there is for $8, um, I can buy basically three rolls of foil um, because, well, three or four rolls actually, because you can find hot foil for around three or $4 a roll. So, um, it's actually quite, it's not a good value to use it as hot foil, so I'm not going to recommend that, unless you're in a pinch and you need hot foil. So then I took Baby Joy, which is my Cricut, and I ran this design through the Cricut design space, and I used one of the Cricut pens, and they do not make an adapter for the Baby Joy yet. I do not have a full-size Cricut, and you can see that it really did not work. And then I took a stylus, and I just kind of scribbled all over the foil with my stylus, and as you can see, that was unsuccessful. So the only successful transfer I've had with this foil is using it as a hot foil system. I did try running it through my Gemini with the die without any heat, just using pressure. And you can see there that it was unsuccessful. So this is still cutting out on the Cameo. So I'm gonna try one without heat and one with heat. And um, I'll let you guys know. Okay, the silhouette is still cutting, so while our drawing, so while it's doing that, and again, this is just using the foil quill, it is not hooked up to any heat at all. And that's the medium tip. I have my scan and cut set up the same way black paper, cricket paper, taped down. I have the bold tip not plugged in it's in the foil quill adapter for the brother scan and cut and this is just a simple design i'm just going to have it draw out again without heat um i think i want to move it over a little bit well i guess we're okay there draw 
Let me hit start and we'll see what this one does. And again, I know the dimensions might be off, but we'll see how it works. This one's pretty simple. Oh, it's trying to fill it in. Well, I don't know what it's doing now. Oh, I guess it is filling it in. Oh, this will be interesting to see how it works. Okay. I didn't know it was going to do that. All right. Well, we're not wasting anything, so we'll give both of these a few more minutes and hopefully have some results. And again, both of these are just using the foil quill without any heat. Again, I don't have the Cricut and I did not buy the Cricut adapters. So we'll see how this works. Be back in a few. Okay, guys. Sorry for the back and forth running around. Oh my gosh, I hope this is not sideways. Oh, there it is. It was sideways, wasn't it? Okay. All right, so I ran both of these. Again, I don't have a Cricut machine. I don't plan on buying a Cricut machine. I do have Baby Joy, but they don't make this new foil adapter for Baby Joy. So all I did was just bought the foil, okay? And I used my foil quill in both machines. So you can see this is the Silhouette machine. This one's the brother. Let's see how the reveal is. And I used them without heat because that is the purpose of this program. This foil is it's basically rub on foil. And I understand Silhouette used to have this a couple years ago. Um, I don't know if they still sell it or not, but let's see how this worked. And again, I did two passes and there you can see it did not transfer very well in the Silhouette using regular foil quill. I am going to flip this around. So it did not work very well. I don't want to waste this piece of foil. I know it's already been used, but I'm going to put this back in. And this time I'm going to plug the foil quill heat in. I'll make this pretty tight. And I'm going to run that through again and see how it works. Now let's see how the Brother Scan and Cut did. This is just a Brother Scan and Cut image and it actually filled in the image for me. So same thing I did it on Draw. I used the bold foil quill for this and looks like we have a little bit better result from the Brother Scan and Cut. I'm actually surprised that it did work. I'm going to do the same concept though. This is ripping my paper down here. I do like this tape because it's supposed to be a little more gentle, but you can see there it did pull up some of that black paper. So just be careful with that. All right, same idea. I'm gonna flip the paper upside down. I'm gonna put a new piece of foil on this one because again, it's all about experimenting for you guys. We're gonna go purple and I'm going to do the same test but what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to hook up the foil quills to heat so I have a little USB adapter that's what I normally use when I'm using the foil quills um, I will tell you now for me Unless you have a silhouette machine, I really don't see the value in this because I have a lot of toner foil. I have a lot of heat foil. I have the foil quill system. So for me, I don't really need this system. I can see if you have a Cricut machine and you don't have a foil quill, you may want to try this. Basically, this was um, Cricut's design idea so that people would not use the foil quill in their machine. The foil quill is a We Are Memory Keepers product. It is not a Cricut product. So they basically made their own non-heat product here. And this is it's just basically rub-on foil. But it seems to be reactive with heat. So I'm going to put both of these back in the machine. And we're going to try again with heat now. Um, this foil is going to come out a little bit, uh, grungier because we did get some of it to transfer here, but, um, it should be better than what we have here. So I'm going to pause the video and go back and try again and I'll be back. 
All right, so just so you guys can see, this is lit up, and I have it plugged into a USB box now. So I'm going to repeat the design on here in a minute. I have to let that warm up. And then the same thing here, I have it plugged into this USB, and you can see it is also lit up. Okay, so the foil quills are hot, but we're using Cricut foil instead of hot foil. Foil, quill foil, Spellbinders, Glimmer foil, Gemini foil, those are all hot foils. So we're going to let these go for a minute, and then we'll come back with the results. Okay, guys. Uh hate when this camera does this okay all right sorry about that um so this is the brother where i use the bold tip foil quill with the cricut foil and i think you can already see the difference in the foil i have a feeling we have a pretty good transfer here but let's reveal it and take a look Well, maybe good's not the word I want to use, but definitely a foil transfer there. Using the heat gave us more results, and the tape did, again, pull away my paper. There's the paper. But you can see there's definitely more foil transfer that time versus the first time when we did it without heat. And actually, my paper is sticking to my mat okay here we go so here it was without using the heat you can hear the cricket is still going so that is just using pressure alone and here it is using the heat and you know it is purple foil so it is darker but there is more coverage okay now personally for me that's a lot of work to go through I would rather print an image with my laser printer and then do it with my mink machine or use the hot foil with the foil quill which is going to be cheaper and I know I'm going to get a little bit better results than this so for me again it's just not worth it if you have a Cricut machine um, it may be worth it to you to get the whole kit but if you have a foil quill I think you can get the same results with the foil quill um, and hot foil is a little bit cheaper than this foil I get it, this is something brand new. Foiling is super hot right now, but $8 for a pack of foil when I can get four rolls of hot foil and I'm gonna get a lot more than a couple of sheets is just, it's just not worth it to me. So um, we're gonna see how it does on the silhouette and then I will give you guys my final thoughts. Okay, I'm back. I know it's only a few seconds for you guys, but man, that machine is way slower compared to the the brother scan and cut and I like how the scan and cut tells you like a countdown of how long it's gonna take with the silhouette you just gotta stand there and wait for it all right now for the silhouette I use the standard size foil quill tool and again we did it with the heat on and there you can see a huge improvement with having it plugged in and using the heat on the foil quill instead of using um, just the pressure from the foil quill so yeah obviously this foil is some kind of a hybrid hot foil pressure foil and it definitely works better um, if you have heat added to the program instead of just pressure now again um, this was designed keep in mind this was designed as a accessory for the people that have a full-size Cricut machine and those of you who do not have the foil quill machine the foil quill are these small adapters here's the one they just had okay and this heats up so you plug this into a USB and once it's powered the tip gets hot okay so this is a hot foiling system once the tip gets hot then you can use it to cut out or trace your design that you want. Now, there are different adapters available for the Silhouette, the Brother Scan and Cut, the uh, um, Cricut Machine. I don't know what other machines are out there. So this one is for the Silhouette. You 
screw that on and then you put it in your machine. So there are different sizes. There's the fine point, which I don't recommend. It rips up the paper and the foil. This is the regular nib. And then the one I used on the Brother Scan and Cut was the bold nib. And all this does is it goes through your machine just like if you were using a pen and it cuts or it draws the design you want it to. Now, We Are Memory Keepers is not associated with Cricut. So Cricut doesn't want you using this in their machine. And We Are Memory Keepers even tells you, you know, this is not part of your machine. We are a separate company. So, you know, Cricut is just trying to protect their machine, protect themselves by coming out with their own machine and by saying, hey, we're eliminating the heating portion of it. And this is just a pressure foil, which basically means that it is a rub on foil. So I'm going to assume that through the Cricut machine, their, um, their tip is probably a lot heavier weight to it. There's probably settings in their machine. Now, I know in the Silhouette and in the Brother Scan and Cut, you can increase your pressure, so I might have to play around with that. But at the end of the day, just like the foil quill takes too long for me, this is not something I would invest in. Again, just looking, for, I could have done this with the foil quill alone, without the Cricut foil, using regular hot foil, and it would have been a better value for me to just purchase regular hot foil from uh, We Are Memory Keepers or Spellbinders, or um, you have the Spellbinders Glimmer Foil, you have Couture Creations Foil, and you have the Gemini Foil Press Foil. And, th and those are all hot foiling systems that will work with the foil quill. So if you have a Cricut machine, by all means, try it out. If you don't have a Cricut machine and you have a scan and cut or you have a Cameo, I say just get the We Are Memory Keepers foil quill if this is something you think you're interested in. Um, but for me, it's not a good value because, again, this foil costs so much more money than the other foils that are out there. And you can get better results with using some of those other foiling systems that are out there. We have um, regular foiling with your mink machine that we can use toner foil for and you can get 25 feet you can get 25 feet of foil on a 12 inch roll for seven dollars you guys 25 feet on a 12 inch roll it's ginormous you can print out any design you want on a laser printer or you can buy pre-printed foiled images from um Crafty Krita out of uh, Australia. Um, Kitchen Sink Stamps sell some designs that you can print on at home on your laser printer. Our group, the Foiling Snobs Club on Facebook, has free designs you can print out on your own laser printer. Um, Unity Stamps has pre-printed designs that you can purchase. So there are different ways of getting printed designs. I mean, you can photocopy this off your work photocopier that you can do with a mink or a laminating machine. So that's one system. If you're going to do the hot foiling system, again, there's the foil quill hot foiling system where you can create your own designs. And then there is the Gemini um, foil press system. There is the Spellbinders um, system, which is the Spellbinders. Uh, I keep forgetting the name of it. Glimmer Machine, uh, We Are Memory Keepers, and so there's a lot of companies out there that have hot foil dies and have hot foils, so again, just in terms of the value, this frankly takes too long, I don't have the patience to wait for it to cut all the way through, um, I can get a similar look using one of the other two systems I already have, or using a foil quill that I already have, and using foils that I already have, so for me, not being a Cricut owner, not for me, if you are a Cricut owner and you don't have the foil quill system, I'd be interested to see your opinions. I know there's a lot of videos out there sponsored by Cricut. Keep that in mind um, to use this system. But really, for me, it's just not worth the value to go out and have to buy a whole Cricut system to get this, this foil. So not for me, doesn't mean it's not for everybody. Again, if you have a full size Cricut, you don't have the foil quill system. This may be something to look into, but I honestly think you can use your hot foils and get a better value through some other companies. So that's my two cents on it. Um, if you have any other questions, you can post them down below. Thanks for watching and keep on foiling. Bye-bye.